You've all seen the golf clubs I'm using in my bag. Mizuno irons, Titleist driver, ping putter, tailor-made wedges, tailor-made gapper long iron. And I think you're all getting a little bit bored of it. So today, not only have we got a guest on the channel, but we're gonna use these. Hi everyone, James Robertson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. In today's video, we have a special guest on the show, Liam. Everybody, Liam from Golf Vlogs UK. How are you doing, Liam? Let's do it, let's do it now. Let's, but not just yet. <laughs> not Look just at yet. these, 1960s blades. 1960s blades, but what golf balls are we gonna use? We're gonna use these, a Dunlop 65. Dunlop 65, how old are these? Are these nearly as old as you? Uh, no, no. No I idea when these were about, but they're still in the wrapper. Just look at those. We've already had a match today, so if you've not seen that, half of it's on my channel, half of it's on Liam's channel. We'll not ruin it, but it was a pretty good game, wasn't it? There was some good golf. There was some good golf. Bit of luck. Some good golf. A bit of cheating. But, uh, Miscounted. Well, you'll have to watch it. If you want to see cheating, you'll have to watch it. So, into the... I like throwing things. So, in today's video, look how upset you are about that. <laughs> bit vintage, then. Could get this right across his head, the old burglar stick. <laughs> So let's talk you through what clubs we're going to use in this video. As you can see in here, we have a nice, would you say it's persimmon that? Persimmon driver, we've even got two no, of them. No, the lam laminated. Laminated. But these are 1961, the irons. 1961, custom built. Now get your professional followers. Professional irons. Your followers will remember this. This is a Ray Cook putter. Ray Cook. I've never heard of it, but it's meant to be very old. Looks like the Ram, doesn't it? Yeah, the Zebra. That's the one, yeah. Same, it's an animal. We'll do three holes, we'll do this one, this one, and eight. So now we've got that worked out, we're going to do three holes, the first hole, the second hole, two and the shots. eighth hole. Here at Huddersfield, got two, two shots. shots. That's what we said off camera. Well, these are built for you, the custom I'll give him two midgets. shots, I'll give him two shots, but I want my followers to know, my subscribers to know. He's, he's, he's all right, play, he can play, can Liam. Anyway, let's do it. First hole, I'm going to call it a driver, Dunlop 65 golf ball, let's do it. And let's do it now. Good luck, James. Cheers, mate. You too. Fivers. Fiver. How much? Five pound. Wow. 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 Where have you pulled that from? I thought I would do giving you a banana skin there. I'm going to unpeel this, but I think it's easy to get into fork knocks. <laughs> James, where have you pulled that from? To be honest, that was a cracking shot. Right, right, yeah. it? Out the screws, one could say. Well, I'll tell you what. Finder. No word of a lie, that's better than tee shot you at earlier with your Callaway Epic. Yeah, but that, that didn't go that far really, did it? Well, neither did the Epic. <laughs> so guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do like what you're seeing, make sure you go check out my new website, jamesrobinsongolf.com, for all your online lesson needs. That sales pitch is going to annoy a few people, isn't it? Anyway, you, where's my tee gone? This one. Look at that, you'll need that. So we've got Liam here who's just missed the fairway. That's not bad for me, our huh, kid, that's not bad. And I'm just down there on the left, but I reckon I've put 20 on him. 20? I say 240 yards, easily. Go on then. What do you reckon? I'm laying up, Jane, they ain't got it in me. What are you hitting? Five iron, I've got a shot. You'll have to go for green. Step on it, I think you get there. Oh yeah, all day long. Lift me head as well. Oh, what a strike. Run down there, well, mate. Don't get me wrong, I'm pleased for you with the strike. Oh, but thank you. Have you ever heard of being the phrase, have you ever heard of the phrase, being old man? Look at the size of them. He's Never mind the size of them. He's got three eyed on I'm the I'm giving him shots, wanna... giving him shots, and he's laying up on par fours. Take 30 steps forward, and here he is. Yeah, of course. Oh, that, oh God, this, we're going to lose this ball. That's the a hanging lie. Going. That is a hanging lie. I reckon we've got, I reckon, that's very Yorkshire, isn't it? I think we've got about 220. I'm going to hit the four iron, although on today's loft, that could be more like a five or even a six. But you know I reckon he's got no chance. I'll tell you what, I didn't realise how, how much above my feet this was. Oh, well, you've said it. Your viewers are going to love you sitting in a green. <laughs> Go! Oh, 
Don't be right, he's down there. <laughs> James, what do you think of the clubs? <laughs> the good news is, the good news is, we got over the bunker. Come on, let's go. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I had every confidence, not so much with the lie, but on the first tee, I'm still there thinking, what, he wants me to use a set of blades, a slightly older ball and a small lip, or basically a three wood. I'll batter him. I'm using them as well. <laughs> Just to get this straight, I'm using the same balls and clubs in you. Oh, well, you know I've done what 65. What are you saying? I said that's Shaw's, it's been it before that. That's, yeah, I'll have it. Right, so. I don't know how far we've got because we're not allowed to use a bushnell. Wedge options are a bit light, so I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go pitching wedge. Liam's kept them in good nick. Spotless. I'd hate to see his car. Anyway, I think we've got. I want to go 50 yards. Oh, brilliant! Great I'm guess. To, I'm going to play it at 55 because of the ball, and I don't think. Tell us what you're playing, because obviously I'm an amateur, I can't explain what kind of shot I'm going to play because I'm not that much of a good player. I'm going to use this I know you're gonna to do hit that yeah. on there. Hello. Yeah, Hello. So Liam, do I know your options of wedges? I'm I can give you a K grind, S grind, L grind, M grind. Actually I can't, but I can give you pitching wedge. No, I'm going to duff and run it. I'm going to have a German. Nine. Have I got a shot? Yeah. Oh, that'll, that'll do then. All fun and games aside, I think one of the big ideas of getting out here and using this equipment is to see how much more difficult were golf courses back in the day. How much more difficult was equipment to use? Liam, what are you making of the club so far? Uh, very enjoyable, but very, very difficult. Which very makes difficult. it a good laugh, actually, because you know you're going to one up and you know you're ready for laugh at me, aren't you? I mean, looking at these compared to like, modern day cavity backs, massive difference, huge, but I'm still enjoying myself. Well, we're having a laugh because you know you're not going to, well, if you think you're going to middle it, you, you're off your head. They're just the hardest clubs in the world, I'd say. They absolutely are. But do you need brand new, modern day, really expensive golf clubs to play golf and have a laugh? No. No? Definitely not. Let's get back to it, shall we? Come on, James. Nice bogey. Go putter of the ball, haven't you? You've got this for an half. No, you've got it for a win. Go over. Got a shot, haven't you? And that is one down. One up if you want to be my team. <laughs> No shot here. Come on up. Right. Oh, stop it. Right, it's up the hill. Now that is further than the one you hit earlier. Oh, it is, isn't it? Do you want to borrow my tea? Yeah, I'll borrow that tea, yeah. Have I broke it? No, you're not that strong. No pressure, James. <laughs> i tell you what. It's only your own course. I'm a bit nervous. YouTube sensation. It's a great hit, it's a little bit pulley, but it's a long ball. Is that what you call a fairway finder? 7 iron 150, yeah. old school blade. How does that compare to your uh, Ping Eye club? Ping Eyes are about 165, but I think this will be low and they've been okay. It'll carry about 130. Yeah. And I think it'll go alright, so. Struck that so well. You have put it on green, well, you know. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Look at that for a lie. Right. Wonder what loft this nine is. Not oh, like a wedge, really, isn't it? Maybe, yeah. I do think it'll go right. 
No. Gotta go out flagging. Are you pin seeking? I'm drawing it in. Oh, this is fantastic news. Get it shot tray to work on here, see if you're telling porky pies. It amazes me how difficult these are to shape. That last one wasn't a terrible golf swing. I would say it was good, but it wasn't that bad. The old Dunlop has carried the bunker. Liam's up on the green. Hey, Tandy Capper. And I've got some work to do. It's all Mr. Robinson needs an up and down for an half. Oh, he's got off. Has he? Has he? Great shot. Fair play, mate. Good shot. No pressure. Dead, but it's a longer putt than I thought this, James. He's left it halfway. Chance. Liam's like my ball marker. Yeah, for the Masters. Might be some news about that, you never know where. You never know. Uh, listen, you might think that was a bad putt, but it's very light, this. It's hard to get a pace of it just having a go out of the bag. <laughs> Lucky in love. <laughs> I'm thinking I've gone dead. You have. Good lad, solid. D did you not hear me give you that? I didn't, mate. What? Is that an half? Uh, I'm, I'm, that's door me one. Is it? Well, this is this is terrible news for you. I think you're right, and I'm not going to have my shot. Well, I feel I feel terrible now. No, no, I don't want it. You sure? I believe I can duff this without a shot. Are you eating eight? Now. No, I ate eight with my club shorts. It's going to be, might even be six. So why have you given me seven? <laughs> no, I'm going to eat this. I think you carry that first bunker, it'll run forever. Alright. Yeah? Yeah. Struck it beautifully. Got a goal. Oh. oh, in the face! In the face of that bunker there, with no sand wedge. We've only got a pitching wedge. Uh, oops. So I handed Liam a seven iron there. Peaceful for you, James. No cars coming past. No strange people looking at you. You're looking at me. Yeah, but I'm not that strange. <laughs> Are you in my bunker? Oh. This is horrendous news. James Robinson followers, he's in the bunker with no sandwich. Can I just say? You should have hit a seven. <laughs> How hard is it to hit these? How good were their players? A lot better than us. Respect, innit, to the yeah. old timers. Old timers. Right then, so I think with two shots in two different bunkers, you're in the short one, Liam, yeah? Yeah, I got twisted into it at seven, but I'm glad I did. One there and one in the one up top. To be honest, I think your shot's easier. Oh, well, you'd say that, wouldn't you? What wedge option are you choosing? I'm going to use a pitching wedge. Because that's all we've got. Absolutely. How has that stayed there? I don't know. I took that much sand, it's hurt my back. Right, let's hope. Let's hope I'm better out of bunkers than Harrison. Well. I've opened the door, mate. Got an aim point it, are you okay? I'm alright, I think. Sure, I want to give it the old. I need this both, don't I? <laughs> I can't quite believe what's happened there. Oh. Great golf shot. James, anything to <laughs> I've, for once, no. Comment below. <laughs> it's stuck for words. I mean, the second one was reasonable, but can't explain to you how much more difficult these clubs are. That, that I can't remember the last time I didn't get one out of a bunker. All right, we're hovering. And just so you all know, the holes up here. How many of you had? Same as you, three. All right. We know shots. Okay. Oh! Right, I think I, well, I need this and then I've, I've seen you miss them on vlogs. I've seen you miss them. I'll just mark it. Oh, he nearly went in. What are you marking that way? A brick. 
I did have a pwn, but being up in Yorkshire, I think I've been pickpocketed. <laughs> well done. Well played, mate. I'm going to give you that one. That, that's fantastic. And if anybody does have a spare ball marker, just free phone 0800, Liam needs a ball marker because he's from Lancashire. I've got a fiver to buy a few more. <laughs> So guys, we really hope you've enjoyed that. Liam has won, so. That's fantastic. Well done, Liam. Uh, we'll have a rematch of some kind of different. Uh... I'll let you choose the balls and the gear if you want. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Junior what about the clubs? location? Really hope you've enjoyed that, guys. One thing that we need to get across is just how difficult it is to play with these clubs. We hope you've had a laugh out there. The whole idea behind today was to have a laugh and just to experience golf, how probably people here at Fixby, Fixby Golf Club is 126 years old. So at some point, these clubs and golf balls will have been used probably in... Mile. Yeah. 50s, 60s. On here. So if you played off... Well, I mean, if you played off five... Oh, you would have been a scratch golfer today with these. You'd with be, the new you, equipment, You would definitely. absolutely be a scratch golfer today. Apart from that, guys, make sure you go check out Liam's channel, Golf Logs UK. Lots of fantastic stuff already on there, and I'm sure there's more stuff coming in the new year. Absolutely. So really look forward to seeing that. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Apart from that, see you soon. I want a fiver. <laughs>